Hello and welcome to uh, another video where we're going to add True Plan 182 to Excel in order to be able to solve decision tree problems using Tree Plan. Tree Plan is an add in that's provided for a student for a trial version, or you can buy it. And there are several ways to add a Tree Plan to Excel. The first method is if you want to use it only once and when you close Excel it's gone and to do that there are two ways to do it. First make sure you have tree plan stored on your hard drive then either double click on it so wherever you have tree plan stored on your computer if you click on it it's going to open in Excel and it's going to ask you if you want to enable macros simply because tree plan has some macros that allow us to do the decision tree so you need to enable macros otherwise it's not going to work once you click on enable macros you will see on the ribbon here an add-on ribbons which has tree plan the other option would be to just go to file open and of course, browse till you see your tree plan and you click on it. And of course, can ask you the same question and it will appear over here. Now it didn't ask me because I had to cancel it, which means it didn't enable macros. The second method is if you want to keep tree plan forever on your Excel so every time you open Excel you will see tree plan and in order to do that also there are two methods the first one would be to click on file go to options over here you click on add-ins and at the bottom where it says Excel add-ins Click on Go. Now you have to browse for Tree Plan. So, same idea. Once you find it on your hard drive, click on it and you will see that it's clicked or it's checked. Click OK. And to see that it's available you see that it's added here under the add-ins click OK and if you look at the ribbon on the top you will see that you have the add-ins ribbon and decision tree is over here Now, the last method to do that is by simply taking that tree plan. I'm just going to copy it because I'm going to keep it here. And place it in the Excel start in Microsoft Office. Now, this is a tricky part because the Excel start is depending on the Microsoft Office and where you install it could be either in the program files or program files 86 mine is under program files and you see Microsoft Office now another tricky part is the XL start could be under root or under office 16 or 15 or 17 or whatever the variable that you have so mine is under root and office 16 and you will see here excel start and i'm just going to paste it here since it's an add-ins and it has macros it's going to ask for administrator permission click on continue and this way you have it there forever anytime you open excel it will load and it will be in the add-ins for a bit. Now the best way to find Excel start is just search for it and it will give you the path name where it is, paste 
tree plan over there and you have it all the time. So now that you have the add-in ribbon which has decision tree, you can click on it and start a new tree. In the next video, I will show you step-by-step -step details on how to use tree plan and how to create a tree and make decisions using tree plan. Don't forget to look for the other video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come.